What if an interstellar object whirling through our solar system is actually a nuclear-powered spacecraft? At 124,000 miles per hour. You're talking about something the size of a star, the sun, an octillion tons of mass or something like that getting flung away way faster than a rifle bullet. It screamed past Mars. At the exact moment this interstellar object, 3i Atlas, made its closest approach, NASA's data streams went completely dark. A government shutdown was the official reason, but the timing is, to put it mildly, suspicious. Now, experts like Michio Kaku are warning that what the agency isn't telling us could have massive consequences. This isn't just a rock. It's an anomaly that has broken every rule for interstellar visitors, and it's getting closer. The danger is not what NASA admits, but what the evidence shows. The timing is no coincidence. The official story was the government shutdown, a bureaucratic issue that temporarily halted non-essential services. What many overlooked is just how convenient this timing was. Scientists around the globe, from Europe to Japan, were desperate for real-time information. They were waiting to see high-resolution images, spectral analysis, and telemetry data that could have answered fundamental questions about 3i Atlas. Was it a solid object? What was its precise shape? What materials were being ejected from its surface? Instead of answers, they got error messages and dead links. The blackout effectively drew a curtain over the single most important event in this object's journey so far. You see, the information we did manage to capture before and after the blackout is profoundly puzzling, and it only deepens the mystery. The images we have show an object that appears stretched out, more like the infamous cigar-shaped Oumuamua than any typical rounded comet. What's crazy is that it lacks the spectacular glowing tail we would expect from something so massive and active. Instead, it's shrouded in a diffuse, hazy cloud of ionized gas that behaves unlike anything in our extensive scientific databases. It's not a coma, not a tail, but something else entirely. This strange envelope seems to absorb and re-emit light in a way that confounds our models. Some have even suggested it could be a form of shielding. The path it's taking tells a story all on its own. It's aligned within just five degrees of Earth's orbital plane. Let that sink in. Most objects from interstellar space should arrive at random angles, tumbling in from above or below our solar system. But 3i Atlas is traveling right along the superhighway where all the planets orbit. The odds of this happening by chance are staggeringly low. As Harvard astrophysicist Avi Loeb points out, this trajectory is suspiciously perfect. It places the object in the prime position to have been detected by any potential observers looking for life. Any civilization positioned along that plane could have seen Earth transit across our Sun, the exact same method we use to find exoplanets. They would know our address, and they would know our planet sustains life. This object's alignment places it directly in that prime detection zone. The timing of its arrival is another statistical improbability. It didn't just fly by Mars. Its trajectory is set to carry it near Jupiter on March 16, 2026. An object arriving from another star system just happens to be on a path to encounter multiple planets in our system in a relatively short window of time. The combined probability of its alignment, its timing, and its close planetary encounters is, according to Loeb's calculations, less than one in a million. This is no ordinary visitor. The most critical question we face is whether we're looking at a bizarre work of nature or a sophisticated piece of technology. The convenient data blackout during its Mars flyby prevents us from getting the very information that could tell us the difference. What if its impossible mass is the real reason for the secrecy? Seven red flags. The thing nobody tells you is that our understanding of the universe is built on rules, on physical laws that celestial objects are supposed to follow. 3i Atlas doesn't just bend these rules, it shatters them there are at least seven documented anomalies that leave scientists scrambling for explanations, pushing this object from the realm of curiosity into the territory of genuine concern. Unlike the cigar-shaped Oumuamua or the more conventional comet Borisov, this visitor defies every category we have. First is its seemingly impossible mass. 
At over 73 trillion pounds, 3i Atlas weighs roughly 6 million times more than SpaceX's Starship, our planet's most powerful rocket. Harvard researchers calculated this staggering figure after observing something extraordinary. Despite visibly releasing gas and dust, which should act like thrusters, the object's trajectory remains virtually unchanged. Normally, when comets outgas, they get pushed around like a balloon releasing air. Not this one. The implication is that its mass is so enormous, its inertia so great, that these powerful jets barely alter its course. Get this. Based on the known density of interstellar space, there simply shouldn't be enough loose rocky material out there to form and send an object this massive into our solar system. This leads to the second anomaly, the absence of smaller objects. If nature were producing interstellar rocks this big, it should be producing hundreds, if not thousands, of smaller ones for every giant. Avi Loeb ran the numbers. Based on the distribution of matter drifting between the stars, we should have detected a steady stream of smaller interstellar visitors over the last decade. We haven't. It's like finding a single giant boulder in a field with no pebbles or stones. It suggests its origin isn't a natural process of rock formation. The third red flag is its bizarre chemical makeup. While scientists detected cyanide and carbon monoxide common in comets, they also found something else. The spectral signature of the dust cloud suggests an environment rich in complex silicates, hinting that the material was formed in a warm, rocky environment, perhaps like the surface of a planet like Mars, not in the deep freeze of interstellar space where comets are born. It's as if a chunk of another world was ripped away and sent flying our way. Fourth, it demonstrated an unnatural resilience. On September 25th, a coronal mass ejection, a massive solar storm, erupted from the sun and struck 3i Atlas head-on. Scientists expected this blast of charged particles to have a dramatic effect, maybe even causing it to fragment. But follow-up observations revealed nothing of the sort. There was no fragmentation, no sudden eruption of a tail, just a gradual, controlled-looking expansion of its outer envelope. It's almost as if the object is built of materials far stronger than porous ice and rock. The fifth and perhaps most baffling anomaly is its extreme light polarization. When sunlight reflects off the dust around a comet, it polarizes. Every single comet ever studied in our solar system shows positive polarization at wide viewing angles. 3i Atlas shows extreme negative polarization. This isn't just a small difference. It's a fundamental contradiction. It means the dust surrounding it is made of something fundamentally different from anything native to our solar system. The particles might be incredibly complex or oddly shaped, made of materials we've never encountered. Sixth is its mathematically precise trajectory. As we've covered, its alignment with the plane of our solar system is a 1 in 50,000 chance. When you add in the perfectly timed encounters with Mars and Jupiter, the odds drop to less than 1 in a million. From an engineering standpoint, this is exactly the flight path you would design for a probe meant to study multiple planets as efficiently as possible. Finally, the seventh anomaly is its strange, elongated shape. Just like Oumuamua, 3i Atlas appears to be stretched out. This is simply not a shape that gravity naturally forms on its own. A spinning, cooling object will become spherical, or, at best, a slightly flattened spheroid. A long, thin shape is inherently unstable for a natural object, but it's incredibly efficient for an interstellar spacecraft, minimizing the chance of collisions with dust and debris. Each anomaly on its own is a puzzle. But when you put all seven together, the pattern is deeply unsettling. The bottom line is, those who insist this is a natural object have a lot of explaining to do, but the most disturbing theory suggests it's not a rock at all, not a comet, but cargo. What if the best way to hide a tree is in a forest? And what if the best way to hide an alien probe is to make it look, almost, like a comet? This is the core of what some are calling the Trojan Horse Theory, an idea that is gaining traction as more anomalies pile up. The perfect camouflage, as Avi Loeb speculates, would be an object that appears mostly natural, but is just different enough that careful observation eventually reveals the truth. It's a design that would allow it to drift silently through the galaxy, 
avoiding immediate detection when it enters a new star system. Let that sink in for a moment. If an advanced civilization wanted to explore the galaxy, sending out millions of probes would be the most logical method. These probes could gather data for eons while drifting between stars, occasionally passing through systems like ours to observe, record, and maybe even report back. The five-degree orbital alignment would be a deliberate choice, engineered to allow the probe to encounter multiple planets efficiently. Its unusual resilience to the sun's blast would be expected if it were made from advanced materials, far beyond our own capabilities. Its strange polarization would simply be a byproduct of this exotic, artificial construction. To put it mildly, the implications are staggering. If this is a probe, then its mission is unknown. Is it a peaceful scout, simply gathering information? Or is its purpose more sinister? Its enormous mass could mean it's carrying something, perhaps smaller probes to deploy, or even a power source capable of lasting for millions of years. The 73 trillion pounds isn't just dead weight, it's a sign of immense capability. But some scientists are proposing an even more extraordinary possibility. Dr. Suzanne Falsner, a German astrophysicist, has run simulations that suggest objects like 3i Atlas could actually be planetary seeds. Her work demonstrates that massive interstellar objects, if captured by the gravity of a young star, could jumpstart the entire planet formation process. Instead of needing millions of years for dust to clump together, planets could form rapidly around these ready-made cores. If this theory holds true, then a piece of Jupiter, or even Earth itself, might have originated from an ancient interstellar visitor that arrived billions of years ago. In this scenario, 3i Atlas isn't a threat, but a building block of worlds. But what if it's here to build a new one in our system? Get this, as 3i Atlas continues its journey, it's actually speeding up. Currently racing at over 82,000 miles per hour, it will accelerate to nearly 100,000 miles per hour as it gets closer to the sun. This speed, combined with its mass, represents a tremendous amount of kinetic energy. If it were to impact something, the result would be cataclysmic. While its current trajectory doesn't show a collision course, comets are known to break apart or have their paths altered by outgassing. With an object this massive and unpredictable, we simply can't be certain of its future path. The European Space Agency's spacecraft represent our last, best hope for answers. While NASA went dark, ESA's Mars Express and Trace Gas Orbiter continued their work. The upcoming JUICE spacecraft, designed to study Jupiter, is set to intercept three IATLAS's path in November 2025. The data will take time to reach us, but those observations could finally reveal if this object has any unusual surface features, heat signatures, or internal structures that simply shouldn't exist in nature. What makes this truly terrifying isn't any single theory. It's the fact that all the evidence is pushing us away from natural explanations and towards something else. The clock is ticking and our last chance to look is approaching fast. Countdown to darkness. At the end of the day, all the theories and speculation lead to one inescapable conclusion. Time is running out. 3i Atlas is not lingering. It's on a precise, unyielding path that will soon carry it out of our reach forever. By December 19, 2025, it will make its closest pass to Earth a distance of 167 million miles. While that sounds far, in cosmic terms, it's our final front row seat. This will be our last good viewing opportunity before it continues its journey and vanishes back into the vast, silent darkness of interstellar space. Whatever secrets it carries, whether it's a natural anomaly, a planetary seed, or an alien Trojan horse, we have only a few short weeks remaining to uncover them. After that moment passes, it becomes another cosmic ghost story, a mystery lost forever to the void. The scientific community is in a race against time, using every available telescope to gather as much data as possible before the window closes. But what if the most important data has already been collected and is being kept from the public? The blackout during the Mars flyby continues to cast a long shadow over everything we think we know. What's crazy is that this object has forced us to confront possibilities that, until recently, 
were dismissed as pure science fiction. The accumulation of anomalies has reached a point where even the most conservative scientists are asking uncomfortable questions that challenge our place in the universe. A black swan event is something so statistically unlikely that it forces a complete re-evaluation of our assumptions about reality. 3i Atlas is a black swan of cosmic proportions. Whether it turns out to be natural or artificial, it has already proven that interstellar visitors can be far more massive, complex, and mysterious than we ever conceived possible. So, is 3i Atlas a once-in-a-lifetime natural wonder, or is it proof that we are being watched? If you believe we need to know the truth, hit the like button and subscribe for more updates.